for many people out there, we feel like we've really turned a corner in the last 24 hours. Not everyone, we realize, but for many, many people uh, in the area. And I say go back home, meaning they can go back home and at least begin to survey uh, the damage, the damage right. which, you know, we're going to get a better scope of that at some point. Um, but certainly it will give folks a little bit of peace of mind that they can at least see uh, what their homes look like, what their right. property looks like in the wake of all this. Because that's been so difficult. For so many people to just not have any clue as to what their home looked like for days for days so at least people were able to get back down there and survey damage in many cases our chip brewster is live for us now in spring where volunteers are working there to try and get the mud money. out of flooded out homes because that's a big problem right now chip well it's called a mud out but don't take it so literally the idea is yeah a flood leaves behind some mud it leaves behind a mess more of but this is more about starting that recovery process that, that you guys have been talking about so you come on into this home and you see that it is already starting to take place what i am talking about and steven you are with champion forest baptist church you guys are the ones behind this particular effort and explain for me those that that haven't been through this or, or haven't heard of a mud out before yeah. what exactly it is yeah exactly so as you know, when the flood waters come into the home, if that moisture sets in the home for a long time, mold starts to form. And so what we're doing all over Northwest Houston today is getting that moisture out. The sheetrock's got to go. The insulation's got to go. The carpet's got to go. And so what we've done today is we've mobilized hundreds of volunteers um, from all around the community to come in and to really just start to help these homes that have just been devastated in our community. And so um, we've had, we sent out the word to our church and not just our church just strangers from around the community have just signed up by the hundreds and we've just been so encouraged and you know one thing that I've been saying is that I think Houston is just putting on a show for the country <laughs> on how well, this to, is how it's done <laughs> yeah exactly yeah. I think our country's just been so divided and you know Jamie Forest Forest Baptist Church is a diverse city a diverse church in a diverse city and we're just seeing that like in action today you know throughout this whole storm process you know for a while some of our campuses you couldn't even get to them and so we just told our church listen right now we're the church scattered and so just get plugged in where you are you know help your neighbors help your friends help your family soon we'll come together and streamline this process and that's what kicked off this morning at 8 o'clock a.m. Now you mentioned that anybody can come out and volunteer how about the help side is this just for church members? Yeah sure so anybody can volunteer if you go to championforest.org forward slash Harvey uh, all the information is there there's two important forms there if you fill out the volunteer form We'll get you plugged in and you can come to one of our campuses and we'd be happy to send you out on a mud out team. There's also tons of opportunities to prep food, help with uh, coordination, all kinds of things, even if you don't feel like you're able to go out on a mud out. The second form is the mud out request form. And so uh, we know that there's just hundreds and hundreds of homes in this area that need this help. Thousands. Yeah. And so if you go to if you go to chamieforce.org slash Harvey, you'll find there a mud out request form. Go ahead and fill that out. Uh, we, we are mobilizing teams as fast as possible to get to these areas. You know, there's a window of about a week or so where if you don't get that moisture out, that's where the mold problem starts coming in. And so we're hitting it as hard as we can. And uh, we've got outside teams. We've heard from all over the country, from Montana, all around the U.S. They're coming down to Houston and they want to know how they can help. So we're not only getting our people involved here, but we're getting outside people involved. And so if, if you're feeling hurt, if you're feeling hopeless right now, I would just say help is on the way. And I would encourage you to just go to championforce.org forward slash Harvey yeah. for all all the news and updates and we'll be you know we're we consider our church now a flood relief organization for the foreseeable future and so and just to clarify too it's not just members volunteering it's just, anybody it's not just members you're helping it's anybody right. what about that's specific right. geographic locations are you sure. limited to a certain area of houston or the metro area sure that's a great question so we're trying to hit immediately the homes in the shadow of our four steeples we have four locations around northwest houston from jersey village on up through spring and the Klein area up all up into conroe so the northwest side of houston is where we're hitting first just because that's closest to base but of course we've got maps all over we've got pins on the map all over the city of Houston and our message to them is that we're coming you know it may not be today hopefully Friday Saturday all in the next week you know we're going to be doing this so um, it's just been incredible really to just see how our city has responded and just to be a part of that and to be a part of something you know bigger than yourself is just what it's all about right now you know? and this is how your church is responding and, and we kind of talked about the region you guys are located in I'm sure you're aware there are other churches throughout the area, do you think that other places are going to be putting on these oh, mud out events? Oh yeah, so we, we've been networking with all kinds of churches, school ISDs, organizations all over the area. You know, one thing that was important from the start was creating a network.
network of communication with these organizations so that everybody can do what they do best. You know, certain schools would open up as shelters. Churches would open up as supply drives. Other churches like us, we're laser focusing on mud outs because we know that's what we do best. And so we're all working in coordination, and it's just been so cool. You know, we don't have the luxury right now to be separate organizations. We're now just Houstonians, and we're helping each other, you know. And so that's what we're all about right now is getting out into the community. We've got, we, we've got so many volunteers that just want to do something. They want to yeah. help. And so we consider ourselves just, a, you know, a stream of influence in the community and impact in the community yeah. and uh, so that we can really just help in the best way we well, can. Well, and I guess my takeaway from it as well is that because we know there are other organizations out there like yours in the other parts of the city, if you are seeing this and going, man, I want to volunteer, I want to help those guys, but I'm not quite yeah. in this area, yeah. or you need help, sure. we're, we're pretty sure there are other organizations <laughs> near you. Oh, yeah. I've, I've been talking to all kinds of churches. Second Baptist, Houston's First, Bio City Fellowship. Uh, I, I, every church I've talked to, I know that they are on the ground today doing work. So if you don't have a church home, I would encourage you to reach out. The church is not just for the people that are already in the church. The church exists for those that are not a part of the church already. And so that's, this is what we're all about. We love because he first loved us. You know, and we, we, we consider uh, helping our neighbors just core to our belief. And so that's, you know, what we're doing today. So that explains the mud out process. So hopefully everyone out there is kind of aware of, of these steps that have to be taken within this week for anyone that has this kind of damage. So, Stephen, I got a left hand shake. But yeah, thank thank you. you very much. I appreciate yeah, that. When you guys come back to me our next segment we're going to talk to the owner of this home just to hear what he went through the kind of damage that was done here and what he now has to do going forward to recover from all this guys well it looks like they made major progress just there today chip i mean they've got a ton of the drywall yes. already out Yes, well, and this isn't the only team from this church. He mentioned hundreds of volunteers. You look around, we've got maybe a dozen in this home. And yeah, just this morning they got in here and already got the drywall down, insulation pulled out, carpet ripped up. They have got a task list in front of them. And if we were to walk outside around the corner, you would see just a pile of all the stuff that they have pulled out today. And again, just this morning, just this one house, they are spread out throughout the community right now. Well, it is needed. I mean, volunteers and people that are just sitting at home right now aren't able to go to work. I mean, it's perfect. It gives them something to get out there and do and to help out. They're needed. Exactly. All right, Chip, thanks so much. We'll check back in with you in just a little bit. Want to get you back up 